another Christmas themed beer. This is a new beer to uh, my beer store. It's from Bateman's out of England. It says Bateman's Rosy Nosy Holiday Ale. And there's a cartoon of Santa Claus and a snowman and reindeer. It says independent since 1874. Gold medal winning beers. See what the back says here. Rosy Nosy Holiday Ale compliments and turkey. A full body copper colored beer brewed with Maris Otter Pale Ale, Pale Ale and Crystal Malts, Wheat Malt, and English Golden Hops. The aroma is rich with sultana and raisin fruitiness. Intensely bitter hops and rich malt provide a long finish dominated by vine fruits. Roger Prost, Beer Writer of the Year. Rosy Nosy is an ideal as a companion to poultry dishes. Um, and this is only 5% ABV. Oh, it is a vegan beer, by the way. I, I would think that almost all beers are vegan. I don't know of too many beers that are made with meat. <laughs> Alrighty, nice looking pour there. It's, uh, yeah, like they said, copper color. I would agree with that. It's, it's a dark copper, you know? More of like a burnt umber or a, uh, tea kind of color bordering on kind of a red. I got about a two finger off white kind of foamy frothy head there. I could, it definitely smells like an English ale. I can smell I could smell it as soon as I uh, pop the cap. It's it's that very traditional Yeah, it's this is how my beer bar smells. It's just that traditional English real ale smell. Uh, kind of like the cereal malts, kind of biscuity kind of malts. Little bit of a fruitiness in there. Can't really put my finger on any specific fruits, just kind of a general kind of fruitiness to it, like darker fruits, not citrus or anything. Um, smells very, smells very British. So let's see if it tastes very British. Yeah, it does. It it tastes uh, very ESB like, or maybe just plain bitter. It's a uh, that kind of refreshing, mild English ale style. I think Simon from the Real Ale Guy would love this beer. Yeah, it's a uh, it's definitely kind of somewhere in, in between mild and mild to robust. I mean, it's not like it's you know bland and flat or anything it's not there's definite flavors here but what's there like just a few things going on kind of cereal malts finishing with a kind of dry light hot bitterness uh the drinkability on it is is great it's you know it's it's a really refreshing kind of that wet kind of mouthfeel but it feels it's definitely a little fuller, maybe a little thicker. It doesn't, definitely doesn't taste like a winter warmer. I'm not really getting a lot of spice. Like I get bitterness on the end, but mostly it's it's drinking very, very English ale type. A little bit of a fruit in the aftertaste, like a really, really, really faint apple. Not much of anything else. Um, yeah, but so far so good. So we're gonna sip on this for a little while and come back with my final thoughts. Alright, I'm back. Um, not much to say about this beer. It's kind of a plain beer. Um, there's nothing really bad about it, other than the fact that it's noticeably mild. I notice that as I drink on, the body tends to get thinner and kind of more watery. The taste starts to like lose its energy, you know. Not that it was like really robust to begin with, but now that I'm, you know, down here, it's kind of, you know, not a whole lot going on other than like a kind of biscuity malt, kind of a dry, powdery bitterness on the aftertaste and the finish. Um, not a, like a lot of fruit, definitely no spice at all. Um, this isn't really what I would think of as a, a winter beer. I mean, to me this just drinks like a typical English bitter. Not even really an ESP. Um, on that note, I mean, it's a fine beer. Um, you know, it's just not what I would expect or 
what I'd prefer out of a Christmas holiday season or something like that. Um, so for Bateman's Rosy Nosy, I'm going to go kind of on the border between a 6 and a 7. I guess I'll go uh, 7. You know, it's a good beer. Yeah, I like it for what it is. The drinkability on it is great. You know, you can just slurp this right down. Um, I think anybody can enjoy it. Only 5% alcohol, you know, pretty, you know, pretty light beer too. Um, I could probably put back a couple of these. Great session beer. And it was only two fifty for this one bottle. Um, my, Jeremy, the guy that runs my beer store that I go to, like really, he said, oh, you got to get this only two fifty for one bottle. You can get a case of it for like 15 bucks or something like that. I don't know. Um, yeah, so Bateman's Rosie Nosy Holiday Ale, 7 out of 10, it's a good beer, nothing really fancy about it, it's pretty good. So, uh, that does it for this episode, we got quite a few more Christmas beers coming up this week, so thanks for watching, Merry Christmas, see you next time, bye.